like eastery, girly, highlighty. I mean, really, you could even use this as a face highlight. Cause why not? Hey guys, welcome back. So I've got a really fun video for you today. I've got a haul, swatches, and review video on the brand new Wet n Wild Spring Collection. This is called the Spring Into the Wild. So this is a very kind of like eastery, girly, highlighty kind of collection, and I'm super excited about it. So let's jump into it. So first off, the collection includes some nail polishes, and I found all this stuff at Walgreens, by the way. The nail polishes were $1.99 a piece, and I believe there were four different colors. I just picked up three of them. So there is Kiss My Mints, and that's what I have on my nails today. Painted terribly, but at least you get an idea of what the color looks like. So I at least tried. So there is Kiss My Mints, which I really liked that one. It started to get a little bit weird on one of my nails because I hadn't like fully let it dry so it kind of pulled off part of the first layer I had put on. So I would say, wait in between your coats. I'd say that's more user error than formula error. But anyway, it's a really pretty minty color. I like it a lot. This one is a really cute pinky color. This is Love Fest. I just, I love this collection because it's, it's just so eastery and girly and pastel and pretty. So I love this pink. And then this is Breeze On By, which I think some of these are repromotes. I didn't research that to be honest, I'm sorry, but um, I believe some of these might be repromotes. So if there were ones that you were really wanting, um, if there were some that you were really wanting last year and you missed them, you might be able to find them on the display again this year. So yeah, nail polishes, $1.99. Then there are some eyeliners. This was $3.99 and there was a white one, a pink one, and then this kind of like I don't know, cornflower blue sort of a color, and this says a case of blue. So I do have this on my eyes today, and what I did is I kind of lined my eyes, but then I tight lined with a black eyeliner, and then I used just the tiniest thin line of a liquid liner on my top lashes that was a black liner. Just, I felt like it kind of like filled in my lashes a little bit more, but I do still really like the liner. I think it's a lot of fun. So this is a really pretty, just kind of, it's a very cornflower blue color. And I like it, like it is opaque, it applied nicely, the brush is pretty small so it's easy to use, so I really do like the brush. And I like the color a lot. Just a cute springy color. I was tempted to try the white or the pink, but I think that one would be a little bit more difficult to kind of pull off and get use out of, so I went with the blue. Which is still, I mean, it's a statement eyeliner, but it's not quite so much a statement liner as like maybe a white or a pink would be. But really fun colors and different, which I like. Then there are three different shades of these geometric highlighting powders. These were $4.99 each, and I picked up all three of them. So this lightest color is called Where the Dreamers Go. And these are kind of like, not really kaleidoscope, but like geometric patterned, different colors that then kind of all swirl together and become really pretty highlighters. But these are pretty subtle. I do have two of them on my face today. So I have this one and then um, the next color I'm about to talk about. So I have this one kind of the highest on my cheeks. And this one is kind of like overall sort of just an icy color, but you can almost see like a blue green sort of a shift to it, but it's very subtle. These are not going to be like Mary Luminizer type highlighters. These are gonna be a little bit more subtle, but they can be built up. I like these. Like, I really am impressed by these. When I was kind of looking up swatches and sort of like reading initial reviews, um, they, you know, overall weren't that great, but I like them. I think for $5, I think they're really cute. And I like that they can be built up. They have a nice enough texture that they do build on themselves. They're never gonna get to be like wabam highlights, but they will build up a little bit. And you can see it on my cheeks. Like, it looks like a highlighter. I mean, it looks like I'm wearing a highlighter, but not like holy moly highlighter. You know what I mean? Holy moly highlighter. Not that status, but a pretty highlighter. This next one is kind of the pinky rosy one of the collection. This is called Desert Explorations. And this is what I do have on my cheeks. So I'm wearing a blush, then I have a little bit of this, and then I have a little bit of the lightest color on. So with this one, what I noticed is I really, Felt like I had to kind of like dig down into the product a little bit more. It's almost like it's more densely packed into the pan than the other two. So 
I kind of felt like I just had to dig into it a little bit more. But once I did that, it does have some pretty pigmentation, but it needs to be built up more so than the other two. At least that's what I've been experiencing with them. But it's a really pretty, just pinky rosy sort of a highlight. And if you're looking for something that's just a little bit of a glow to kind of put with your blush that's more subtle for like work or something like that. I do think this is really pretty. I like it. I'm impressed with it. I would love if these were like $3.99. I don't know, something about $4.99. Well, I mean, I guess their blushes are, how much are their blushes? I don't know, $4.99 seems a little bit high, especially since their contour palettes are $4.99 and those are huge. Um, so I would love if the price was just a little bit lower on these but I do still really like them. And this one's just that nice kind of, you know, subtle rosy color. And then this last one is the very golden one of the group. This is called Sun Ceremony. This one's really pretty and very unique because it's pretty yellowy. Like it really does have a pretty yellow tone to it. So it's not like it's a kind of champagne yellow. It really is more yellow yellow. But again, it's not super duper crazy pigmented. So it's gonna be more forgiving. See right there, it really, I don't know. If I were, if I were to pick between these three, this one's my least favorite um, because it has to be built up too. But it is unique. That's what I like about it because you don't see a lot of super yellowy highlights. So if you're looking for something kind of different, this one would be a cool option. And then lastly, my favorite things in the whole collection are the eyeshadow trios. These were $2.99 each. And on the displays that I saw, I just saw the two. So I picked up both of them. And these are so fun. Like they are glittery, girly, springtime, pastel, just fun. Now you have to like shimmery shadows and you have to like pastel to like these for sure. Um, because, I mean, that's that's totally what they are. But isn't that fun? So this one has kind of like, I don't know, I feel like that's kind of random that that's a matte purple and it doesn't swatch very well. So I, I guess I just, I don't like that it's matte because it really doesn't show up like hardly at all. But the other two in this palette are really pretty. I didn't tell you the name of this one. This one is 2 in Dio I Go Go. To Indio I Go Go. To Indio I Go Go. Okay. So isn't that pretty? Look at that blue. I cannot wait to wear that blue. That is a pretty blue. And it just like catches the light. Oh, yes. I mean, really, you could even use this as a face highlight. Because why not? Because that's just pretty. I'd be a little bit chunky on the face. But I still think it's really pretty. This is so cute. And this is my favorite trio of the two. This one is the New Romantics. This is what I have on my eyes today. I do have some darker colors like in my outer corner and I do have a crease color. But for, you know, just like lid shades, underneath your eye, inner corner of your eye, these are so fun. They're just fun. So this one has pretty much a white. The other one was kind of more champagne gold. This one's pretty much a white. And then a really light pink, like a bubblegum pink, and then just a really pretty purple. Oh my gosh, I love this so much. So these are a little bit powdery. They do kind of kick up some product. Um, you'll probably have a little bit of fallout, but I don't mind because I really do like them. They just catch the light. They're highlighty. They're light and bright and metallic and fun. Yes, love them. Love, love, love them. All right, guys, so that wraps up this haul, swatches, and review video on the new Wet n Wild Spring Collection. So I hope that you really enjoyed it. Please give it a thumbs up if you did. Let me know down below if you have spotted this collection, if you've picked up some things, what are you loving, or if you are still on the hunt for them, which specific products are you wanting to pick up? Because I just think this collection is so fun. I love it. So I would love to know your thoughts about it. Ask me any questions that you have. I'm happy to answer those. Please subscribe to my channel if you're not already, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!